morning. Good morning to you on day 10. Day 10 on our journey of 40 days to learn to take captive every thought. Good morning. Good morning. It is a brand new morning. It's day 10. I'm Jeffrey Paul with your journey for 40 days to challenge you to hear the voice of God so that you can take captive every thought. I am proud of you. <laughs> I've got to tell you this. If you are here today and you've been with us through the 10-day journey, do you know that you're in the 10 percentile? Do you know that 90% of most people who start programs or exercise or diets or anything to truly transform where they're at into where they want to be, absolutely stop, quit, fail after a short period of time, a short period of time of ten, seven to 10 days. That's, that's like just beginning. And so I'm proud of you. I'm excited. You have broken through one of the biggest levels of your next step. Next step is to really begin to put this into practice in a deeper and more constant way. We've been doing exercises and the exercises have been to try to take captive a thought. Like for instance, if you wanted something, you said you're not going to do it, cookie, I use as an example, then you, you, you were able to say no to that thought. But I want to talk to you today about intensity. I want to talk to you again about intensity because I talked to you about it yesterday. But I want you to think about something in your life. Right now, the intensity of the news on the broadcast systems all over the world, it doesn't matter what flavor you're listening to. The intensity, if there is a presidential um, speech or whatever it is that he does in the evenings, there's intensity from the news commentaries and there's intensity by everybody intensity. Michigan and different places around the country that are protesting with intensity. Do you know that intensity is the motivation that creates an incredible level of effort from within to believe and to put into practice what you believe? Intensity. So often we go through the motions of things. Let's say, for example, I come home and uh, I was busy all day, so I get home. Zena's worked all day, been home, you know, in the, in the uh, confines of her house because of the quarantine. And I walk in, I say, hi, honey, love you. Give her a peck. How much intensity do you think that has in it? How much intensity? Not much. But if I walked in and put my stuff down, turn my phone off, and I went and put my arms around her when she was at the sink or at the stove, and I said with intensity, Zena, I love you. Missed you all day. And give her a real kiss on the lips. The intensity of those two illustrations changes something from being just surface and something being deeper into the heart. Let me pause for a little effect and give you the moment to digest what I just said. Anything you do without intensity is only on the surface, even if it's going to work, even if it's doing anything. But when the intensity within you, like the scriptures talk about, with all your heart, with all your might, with all your strength, then you really begin to change the impact that you have on others and how much the word, the scripture, the purpose that you have been called to, Romans chapter 8, verse 28 through 30, that purpose begins to explode. That's why most people wonder why I never achieve my destiny. I never achieve my dreams. I never achieve these things. Because your intensity is not in it. You're not in the depth of it. And you know, if you go to our YouTube channel where all of these teachings and many more are, are libraried, you can go to see what I did on Thursday before Easter, the teaching about the temple and how the entranceway from the marketplace, the craziness of all the world representing you, the marketplace representing the temple, you, and then you go into the, the outer gates. That's that beginning of enlightenment, reading some scriptures, maybe accepting Christ. Then you go into the holy place and you get deeper in prayer, deeper into your level of intensity. But to go into the next level, the next level, where is the holy of holies, which is in the presence of God, which is the depth of really when you hear his voice and you then take action on it, you take take intensity of action on it, 
you see results. You see major results. So let's go back to Zena and myself. What happens inside Zena when I really show intensity of my love, my, my cut the world out, you're the most important thing right now? What happens inside of Zena? Her chemistry changes. Her emotions change. Her, her whole demeanor changes. Her posture changes. All from just a few words? No. Words spoken with intensity, belief, with the strength that I am focused with all my heart, with all my might, with all my strength. When you go into your prayer time to listen, to hear God's voice, and throughout the day when you are dialoguing with God through your whole day of work or play or whatever you might be doing, if you're doing it with all your heart, with all your might, with all your strength, then the intensity and the impact is 30, 60, or 100 times greater than you can ever do in any other effort or any other action. So Jeff, you say, what, what does this have to do with today? Is all I have to do with every day. Have intensity in your day today. Have intensity to hear God's voice. Have intensity to put forth what you hear into action. Have intensity with people one-on-one. -on -one. And really live in the moment of the intensity of the joy of the Lord, of the strength of the Lord, of the ability to overcome in the Lord, in the peace of the Lord, and everything else that comes from the intensity of hearing God's voice. I can't give you a better message than that. I can't give you a better challenge than that. But I can give you this. He is waiting with open arms, with passion, with desire, with absolute excitement. In fact, uh, there's a pastor called Chang. I think he's in California, came out of China uh, many, many years ago when he was a young boy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a link here. Mia, please remind me. We wanna put a link here of, of a short little YouTube that he put up yesterday that has so much intensity of how much God loves us and how intense he uses a scripture out of James, how intense he is. He's, he loves us with envy and he wants us to truly be one with him. I want you to see the intensity of this pastor teaching and the level of his tears running down his cheeks, real tears. You can tell, you'll see, because his intensity will change your demeanor by watching it rather than just listening to another sermon or just listening to another story. And when you come here, come with intensity every morning at 730 with intensity to receive and then walk out of 745 with intensity to put it into practice, as it says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 9. You have a beautiful, intense day. And remember the beauty and change begins within you where Christ lives and dwells and wants to be intense with you. If you haven't signed up right here, you can sign up. I've left a link to sign up for the 40-day daily journal uh, entries that we give you, which is the 40-day uh, devotional. And then YouTube, subscribe, please subscribe, because then you have all libraries of everything that's there. <clears throat> and one last thing, please share this. There has never been a time in the world, not your area, your family, your house, your neighborhood, your city. There's never been a time, and you know this, in the world that needs this intensity of a word, needs the consistency of hearing the voice of God so that they can make decisions in areas that never have been crossed before in their lives and paths. Share this. Share this. If you don't know how to share this, ask us. We'll teach you how to share this because some of you don't. Send us your comments. Give us awareness that you're there. Give us awareness you've been risen up to the 10% to be able to be with us now 10 days and going for another 30 to grow and mature, widen, and deepen, and heighten, and lengthen your knowledge of Christ's love for you. Have a beautiful, intense day, and watch what changes all around you, especially what's in you. See you tomorrow.